Now what I want to do is whenever somebody click on this, currently we are displaying the save button is clicked, but I want to extract the data and display that data in the toast. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the add node here. And uh, we also want this field to be not empty because we don't want this to be empty. Okay. Whenever user try to save, they should have the data in the title and the content field here. If the data is empty, we'll display the error to the user saying that one of the field is empty. You cannot save the node. Okay. So I'm going to do that now here. Now here I need to get the edit text field that we have in the add node XML file. So I'm going to create the edit text field for now. First one is contained title. And second is note content. Let me make this note title. Note title and the note content is the variable name. I'm going to get the variable here. Add note content as well as note title. So find view ID art dot ID dot add note title. Okay. Now inside this on click method, I'm going to extract the string that is passed through these variables. To extract the string, I'm going to create one string variable title and title as in note title and using the note title i'm going to get the text and i'm going to convert back to the string similarly for the content content note content dot get text dot to a string okay now I can check these uh, end title and end content is empty or not. So I'm going to use for loop end title dot is empty or end content is empty. If one of these and one of these titles or content is empty, it's going to execute this block of code. So I'm going to display some message to the user saying that. Okay. And I'm going to return to the same activity. So return. Okay, so when we pass this condition, then only we'll execute the another code of block of code that we have written below this code. Okay, otherwise user won't be able to save the note. Let's consider user user has given the note title and the note content, then we'll proceed to save the note to the data firebase. Okay, so here note. So to save the note to the firebase, we need to create a collection. Collection will have the multiple documents. So in our case, collection is notes. So notes is our collection. And inside notes, we'll have multiple note. Okay. Like this, we have multiple notes. So we'll save the multiple number of notes inside the notes collection. So notes is like a container here and inside that we'll have the multiple data and each note is considered as the document and that each note have the its own field like note title note content note date and the note uh, you know owner who ha whoever has created that note and so on okay to save the notes first i need to specify the position in the collection so for that i need to get the reference of the document so doc ref and uh, I'm going to specify the collection using the Firebase store. So FE store, I'm going to get the collection. And in our case, collection is notes and we have the documents. Now the our docref variable is pointing to a document that is empty document, which do not have any data in current uh, condition in the database. And we now we can insert the data inside this document. I'm going to create the now we'll create one map object that will contain the title and the note and we'll insert that to the this document that we have referenced here. So for that, I'm going to create new map and this map will take the string and the object. So map always take the key value pairs. You must remember that. So this is note and I'm going to create new hash map and the string 
the key that we give here is the key that is used to identify the particular field in the document so guys uh, this might be a little bit confusing so if you don't then what i'm talking about here you can actually check the firebase documentation i'll link that uh, particular documentation link in the video description so so just go there and uh, read the like five minutes of content is there so you can read the simple description of collections and uh, firebase documents so so now i'm gonna add the note dot put i can use this put method of this map object to add the new key value pairs so first thing i want to add is title and the i'm going to get the title from the title variable so that is end title and second thing i want to add is the content so content now i will use this document reference to insert the data into this particular document that i have referenced here okay so that is empty right now but now i'm going to insert the node data that the user have created in the add node activity so docref dot set we can use this set method this document reference have other method method as well we'll uh, talk about that later but for now we'll use set and i'm gonna pass the object now i will add the event listener that will listen if the node is inserted successfully in the database or not if not it's going to call the one event listener that is called on failure listener if the database insertion is successful it's going to call the add on success listener so i'm going to add on success listener and uh, new on success listener and inside this i want to i can handle the condition where the node is added successfully so in my case i'm going to for now i'm going to display the toast message that said add note added okay and when this message is displayed i want to send the user back to the main activity okay so on back press i'm i'm going to call the on back press similarly i'll add the on failure listener to listen for the so in on failure listener new on failure listener so if the database insertion of new note is failed i'm going to notify the user okay i'll just display this simple message so this is the simple logic that will insert the data or note into the fire store and you may be wondering that we don't have this collection right now in the database so if i go back to the database we have this empty collection here right so we don't have any collections or documents so we don't need to worry about that whenever we reference to any document or collection here if that collection is not present in the fire store it's uh, fire store is go this code is automatically going to create that so that is the advantage of using cloud fire store okay we don't need to worry about the missing collection now let's run this applications and see this in action how it's going to work so i'm going to run this application again okay the application is running i'm going to go to the add node option here click on this now i'll let this i'll add the new title and i'm going to add the content now whenever you click on the, whenever somebody click on this save button it's going to do everything in background and we'll get the message here so it says note is added and it is sending me back to the main activity right so now to confirm the data is added or not i'm going to go back to the database here and i'm going to refresh this and we will see the collection and the documents that we have created okay we have note collection here already created and we will see new document here and the id is automatically generated because i have not given any specified id here so the database database will do that for us so we don't need to worry about that and here you can see the title and the content which is the key that i have given to the map while creating the new map and we have this new note and the content of new note and let's go back to our application and add one more note just to show you guys how it's going to work so i'm gonna let the title be the untitled and uh, i'm gonna add the new note content so just add some random characters and click on save and it's going to add the new document and you can see in the real time that new document is added here and if i click on that we'll see the new title and the content okay guys so this is how we insert the data okay so let's go to the no add note here as well so i want to display the progress bar here when somebody click on this save note okay because sometimes it takes a little bit more time to save the note based on the network here or uh, your cell network or the internet connection speed so i want to display the uh, progress bar here so to display the progress bar i'm going to go to the content add note here and i'm going to select one widget and from here i'm going to i can select the progress bar and display here so i'm going to drag and drop the 
the progress bar and I'm going to select it. I'm going to set the constraint. I'm going to let the ID be progress bar. So I don't need to change that. And now here I'm going to get the progress bar XML resources by creating progress bar variable progress bar save and I'm going to set the XML resources progress bar save equals to find view by ID R dot ID progress bar. All right. And now I'm going to hide the con progress bar initially. So I'm going to go here because we don't want this progress bar to be displayed when somebody is writing the note or adding something here. So I'm going to make that invisible from the visibility properties here, invisible. And whenever somebody is fi finished writing the note title and the content and he wants to save the note, I want to display that progress bar. Whenever somebody click on that floating button and the, you know, title and the content is not empty. I want to display the progress bar. So I'm going to get the progress bar save dot set visibility and make this visible. Okay. So this will display the note and once the note is added or once the, the note is added successfully, I'm going to uh, hide the progress bar or actually I don't need to hide it because we are uh, going back to the main activity. But if any error occur, I, I want to hide that progress bar. Okay. Save and run this application and we will see the working demo. Okay. So our app is running now. And uh, now I'm going to go to the add activity again here and add new node on title one. And I'm going to add something. And when I now when I click on this add, uh, save button here, it's going to display the progress bar. So click on that and it is displaying the progress bar. And once the node is added, it's displaying that it is going back and the nothing is displayed here because we have not uh, phase the data from the Firebase yet. So uh, we'll do that in the next video, next part of this tutorial series. For now, uh, this is this video is already long enough. So I don't want to bore you guys with the so many technical thing. So I hope you understood what I was trying to do here in this particular in this particular video. So if you don't understand or if you get error or anything, you can contact me in the comment box or in the Facebook group or you can directly message me there in the Facebook like and subscribe to our channel and uh, so that's it for the today and i'm gonna see you guys in the next part of this tutorial series okay bye bye have a good day